know if you're ready for more fantastic magic because we have some for you right now. Take a look. I live in two worlds. I was born in America and my magic is totally in the American style. But we went to live in India when I was eight years old. And India is where I learned to dance. I was just 19 when I came on Fool Us for the first time. I didn't expect to fool Penn and Teller. I don't know how any magician can. But I had some good advice from a more experienced magician. He said, don't focus on the fooling. Make magic the goal and you win no matter how you do. And then I heard Penn say, We could not examine that deck, is that right? And then I said, Yeah, these are yours. I thought, this can't be happening. And my heart beat fast. And then I heard, uh, You fooled us. Then the show aired, and my social media exploded with people from India saying how much it meant to see someone who looked like them succeed. I'm still thinking about the magic, of course, but I can't help it. I'm also thinking about the trophy. The excitement of coming on this show, that's something that hasn't diminished at all. Hi, Teller. Thank you for inviting me on this season of Card Tank. <laughs> Today, I'm seeking a $10 investment for a 5% stake in my latest invention. Two cups and a string. <laughs> in Silicon Valley, they call this a string telephone. You whisper something on one side, it travels through the string, and you hear it on the other side. I know, it looks like a kindergarten science project, but... I brought the string phone into the digital age by making it wireless. <laughs> I'm gonna need a caller to test this out. Brooke, would you mind helping with this, please? I would can love we hear to help you. Applause? How can I help you? Nice to meet you. Nice to have you back, of course. Brooke, this is gonna be your phone for today, so please hold on to this until the very end. Okay. I also have a deck of 52 different cards. For our demo, it's gonna be like 52 different messages we can send, yeah? Okay. Brooke, could you please touch the back of any card that you'd like? This one, I want you to look at it, but make sure none of us see it, yeah? Keep it to yourself, let me know once you got it. I've got it. In a moment, Brooke is gonna whisper the name of her card into her cup, and whatever she says, I'm gonna hear it in mine. But before that, we need test conditions. So as Brooke is whispering from the audience, I'm gonna need some background noise, some static, okay? Brooke, get ready. I'm ready. Audience static, please. Did you hear me? Signal's a little weak in here, but uh, Brooke, I heard the ace, eight of clubs, was that it? Bingo. Show to everyone, that is the eight of clubs. Number 10 teller, just $10. $9 for a 5% stake in these cups. And they come with even more features, even speech to text software. Mm. Let me show you. Brooke, one more time. Could you okay. please touch the back of any card that you like? Should I take that it? one? Yes, same as before. I want okay. you to look at it, but make sure no one else sees it. You got it? Got it. Yeah. Audience static, please. Get ready to whisper. Okay. Can you go one more time? <laughs> Brooke, what card did you whisper? Eight of spades. The eight of spades? Yes, sir. <laughs> the reason I couldn't hear Brooke is because my cup converted her speech into text. Which is why now printed inside my cup is exactly the eight of spades. What? Okay. But Brooke, Penn Teller, I dreamt even bigger. I dreamt of a whole network of these cups around the world. I dreamt of integrating these with the smartphones, the voice assistants we already have, which is why these cups come with Bluetooth technology. Amazing. Paired. One final time. One final time, okay. Brooke. Could you please touch the back of the audience one final time? 
Brooke. You know what to do. Think about this. Think about this. Brooke, you could have picked any one of these cards. And she just whispered it, right? It's impossible for any of us to know what card Brooke said. But with these cups, anything is possible. Google, what card did Brooke say? Two of spades. Two of spades, was that it? That's the two of spades. Thank you. I appreciate wow. it. How did you come up with a concept like this? How did I come up with this? Yes. I think a lot of magic begins with just a silly idea. You know, mm -hmm. it pops in your head. You think, what if? And I think for me, something I've struggled with a lot before is right after you get that what if, you start thinking, oh, these are the things I know exist. These mm -hmm. are the things I know I could already do. This is the stuff that's possible. But luckily with this one, I had the help from some really smart friends. And they reminded me that, you know, just take that seed of the idea, the purest form in your head, run with it. Do you have a philosophy about magic? I, I'm a kid. <laughs> Yeah. That's the beauty of I'm it, right? starting out. I think magic is very special in the sense that the older we all grow, we become more and more sure of how the world works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we get very certain. But magic can challenge even, you know, even the oldest person to just rethink, oh, maybe, maybe there's something I don't know. All right, Sanjeev, let's see if your potential investors have figured out your trick. All right, here we go, boys. <laughs> Sanjeev. Welcome back. I don't know about your two cups, but we sure want to invest in you. That's a, that's a great performance and a great idea for a trick. And uh, I love paper cups with strings. That's one of my favorite magic things to think about. You've done a wonderful job of doing some really, really, really nice. Uses some old technology and some very new technology. Your premise of wanting people to invest in your invention of the, uh, of the two cups, there's actually things you're using to accomplish that, that I, uh, I, if you did it yourself, which I think you did, you can probably sell that great technology to magicians, because it's a really, really good system and seems to work really well. And you don't need marks in the audience like they have on Shark Tank to say that, because you've got it all up there on stage. You just, all of it just really worked. It was really funny, really great, really, really good magic. But we do not think you fooled us. I think we snuck a few little words in there, didn't we, here and there? I think you did. Yes, for sure. It <laughs> seems that they really loved your act, but you didn't fool them. Yes, that sounds about right. Seven dollars, six dollars. We'll talk. Don't 